Now 2020 wasn't that great. All of us know it was all about COVID and everything and all of us were into lockdown. But still towards the end of 2020 managed to escape out of my country and travel to India. So now there is one more international trip that is coming to you. So presenting to you season three and guess where we are. It's paradise on earth. I mean, nothing, nothing absolutely can beat this place. White sand beaches, turquoise blue waters, and this view, this scenery is just epic. Welcome to Maldives. So Maldives is not the same anymore. I mean, especially after the COVID and the pandemic situation. Maldives is not the same, not just Maldives, the entire world is not the same, but at least Maldives is one amongst the country who has opened tourism and now during this pandemic or after this pandemic you can go and visit Maldives. So Maldives was definitely in our to-do list, the bucket list since very long and luckily we got the opportunity to visit Maldives. So I'll be sharing all the things about the visa, what are the restrictions and what has changed after the COVID scene. So point number one, let's talk about the visa. Basically, the entire country's economy is based on tourism and they are promoting tourism because if they don't promote tourism, come on, alas, this, the country is gone. So they are promoting tourism and the visa for most of the countries is on arrival. It's free even for Indians or most of the countries. Yeah, it is free. You can just walk inside and then you get a visa exemption star stamp or you can get a visa entry stamp. The visa is free of cost and even after the pandemic or during the pandemic it remains the same point number two rt pcr tests yes during the COVID, if you are traveling from any country to any country most of the places an rt pcr test test is mandatory you know to get your rt pcr tests and only if you are proven negative you can travel and this is a mandatory document that people will be checking for the visa or even the airlines will be checking it so be sure that you are going to uh, have your rt-pcr test and for the rt-pcr test when we were traveling from uh, ranchi that is ixr to maldives we had a layover in bangalore so this uh, the requirement also says that if you have a layover in any of the places for more than 12 hours then the rt-pcr test should be done at the last location say for example we were traveling from ixr that is ranchi to bangalore and we had an uh, the first flight which we're trying to book the layover was around 14 hours so in that case we had to take an rt-pcr test from bangalore and then fly to Mali. so what you could you could do what we did is we reschedule our flight to reduce that number to less than 12 hours so that we could take rt-pcr from ranchi and directly fly to Mali. so keep a note and if you are having a layover Please don't make it more than 12 hours and if you're making it 12 hours under any circumstances your rt-pcr test should be done at the last location from where you are flying to mali now point number three one of the major major setbacks of traveling during covid is when you're traveling to mali you cannot island hop i mean this is one thing for which maldives is always known as if you're going for seven or eight days of tourism package you know i mean Either you have booked it through some tourist agents or you have booked it yourself. A minimum of seven days or six days is what people generally book and they generally try and hop to two or three resorts where you can see two or three resorts and not be isolated in just one place. But unfortunately, I mean, this is a major, major setback. According to me is you cannot island hop. If you are traveling to Maldives, you need to go mandatory to one island resort stay there throughout your stay in Maldives and then travel back home from that same island come back to Mali and then travel back you cannot skip from one island to another island to another island to another island so this is a major lay down so if you're planning your trip to Maldives please keep this point in mind I mean this is a major point needs to be kept in mind and unfortunately this is how it is so if you have to plan another island that has to be done in another trip altogether so major major setback because of COVID-19. The point number four is also being that RT-PCR test also is mandatory for most of the countries when you're traveling back from Mali. I mean, say for example, we went from India to Mali and from Maldives we are traveling back to India. So India is making it compulsory to have an RT-PCR test when you're traveling from abroad. So keep into mind 
check your travel regulations and your country's regulations if uh, rt pcr test is mandatory of traveling back home then please be very specific in choosing the resorts because most of the resorts don't have this facility few of the resorts are having its facility luckily our resort had this facility so be sure that an rt pcr test there is a doctor who will get, give you an rt pcr test which is a mandatory document to travel back home now i'll be making another whole together a separate video which will be uh, focused on the entire planning part before the Maldives. I mean, there are a lot of lot of islands, you know, which island to choose, which meal plan to choose, and everything. Most probably next week that video will be out, and that will help you plan your trip to Maldives. So all in all, I mean, traveling to Maldives, even during the pandemic, is kind of easy because they are open to first of all. I mean, really, they are open to tourism. Most of the countries are not most of the travel plans half of your bucket list is gone right now first of all you won't want yourself to travel because of all this you know pandemic and the risk of uh, associated with the traveling but at least Malay and Maldives is open to it there are around 4000 plus islands and around 2000 resorts that you can choose from at least during this if you want to travel to Maldives I hope this was a little informative we just covered four or five points but very major and important points i'm sharing you my experience some tips and tricks coming your way like subscribe share do all the good things and i'll see you guys in another epic video see ya peace out